Hello friends, welcome to The Colour of Madness, episode 20 odd. I've got to that point in the series where I've lost track, it's fantastic, I like being here. This is a nice place to be in the series. You may notice I have finally, finally, you may not notice by the way and that's also fine, uh, I've finally loaded into getting, getting an equaliser for my audio. Played around with it for a couple of hours. It's pretty okay, it's pretty okay. Let me know how it sounds to you guys. It's gonna sound different on different audio setups. Might sound fine on mine, might not sound too good on yours. Um, but anyway, what do we wanna to do today? Well, we don't have any experienced recruits. What we do have is a shitload of heirlooms um, and a modest sum of gold. So I think we wanna do more loot runs for now unless there's anything hugely great. I mean, the gunslinger's buckle is okay if you're running like a point blank shot highwoman. Um, probably not so great for your average high woman. The tough ring, oh, I mean, it's like, okay. It's good for a dot class. It's good for a healing class. It's not good for half of the classes in the game. Um, so I think we probably just want to do like a, a loot run. Like the feather crystal is pretty good. I do like the feather crystal. Might be tough to beat the feather crystal. Oh, the worry stone ain't going to do it. The fortunate armlet certainly isn't going to do it. Unless it does it? No, I don't think so. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we're going to do maybe our first long dungeon of the series. If it is the first one, it's a long time coming. Let's do the Feather Crystal rewards us with portraits. So after this, we may be able, we may be able, Mabel, to get the bank, which is going to be pretty sweet. So who do we want to take? Well, it's the ruins. So nothing that bleeds. So no flagellants, no how masters, none of the other one. What do we want? Well, we want a Crusader. Um, this may take him to level 3. I don't think so, but I think it'd be pretty close. I, I also definitely want to take a High Woman. I love High Woman right now. High Woman just seems awesome. Just in general, the concept of High Woman. We want to drop open Vein. I think we want to take Grape Shot over Wicked Slice. No, that's dumb. We want to take Wicked Slice. We have Duelist Advance. Pistol Shot's only good for hitting the back. But it is also the only thing he can use to hit the back. Unless I want to take Tracking Shot, which I absolutely don't. Uh, yeah, we'll take Wicked Slice. I think, we t I think we keep Pistol Shot. Point Blank Shot and Duelist Advance seems like a no-brainer. Uh, healer? Yeah, I mean... Flambard is fine. She is bulimic. That's not going to be an issue. She already has... It's going to be tough to beat this. Like, musical is meaningless here unless I take a jester, which, let's be real, unlikely to happen. Steady is really nice. Oh, she's a ruins phobe, though. And necromania is pretty bad in the ruins. I may actually not be able to take her on account of her being a ruins phobe. Would I rather take an occultist? Okay, here's the thing. We're going to take an occultist. We're also going to take an arbalist as an off healer. Deadly? Eh. Fear of unholy? <laughs> You're kidding me, man! Oh, one's a ruins phobe, one's got fear of unholy? Who are you? Warren Scranger, meaningless dud hitter. Yeah, sure, we'll take dud hitter. Oh, man. Yeah, we're going to take an arbalist as an off healer. Yep, yep, yep. And we're going to take one that's going to definitely level to three. Bloodthirsty? Eh. Love interest? Eh. Resolution? Eh. Stress eater? Stress eater might be an issue. Deadly and Hippocratic. Oh, yes! We're taking you all day, air day. That's right. Yeah, so I think we want to take... Oh, Holy Lance? No. <laughs> um, I think we want to take Inspiring Cry. And yeah, these are the right skills. Everyone has the right skills now except for Musidont, who wants Inspiring Cry. Uh, yeah, I'm happy with spending a little bit of money on this. It's not going to be a problem. It's also a heal, which is quite nice. Do I want to spend a little bit more money on it? Like six, seven, five. I'm. Let's be real. I'm going to use this once <laughs> in the entire thing, probably. But I'm happy with upgrading all of the others. Yeah. Uh, Wicked Slice, yes. Not taking Grape Shots. Roger. We're taking Musidon, Basnage, Fugueres. Roger. Hello, I'm Roger. I'm here for the mission to the ruins. I don't know if I'm in the right place. My name's Roger. I have an unholy link to the beating heart within. My name's Roger. Fucking idiot, Roger. No one likes you. 
Uh, this is fine. I think we take Encourage. I'm kind of getting a little bit low on money, so I'm a little loath to spend money on Encourage, but Encourage is one of those where I'm always a little bit sad if I don't have at least two, so maybe I will take it. Maybe I'll take it on someone who doesn't already have four camping skills. Moosedorn seems like as good a, a good a dude as anyway. I'm not going to take any of these. Let's be real. I'm just not going to take them. It's not going to be something that appeals to me. Unspeakable Commune. Now, Unspeakable Commune fills very much the same niche as Bandit Sense, but Bandit Sense costs one more and it has a small upside as opposed to a pretty serious downside. So yeah, I, I think I think Bandit Sense is just better, generally speaking. Do you want to take Triage? I never find myself using Triage. I know it's good, consciously. I know it's just a good skill. But I'm just not sure that I ever really find room for it especially since we have so many proactive camping skills, I'll take it as a panic button. It's a panic button. And we are camping twice, so camping skills are doubly useful here. Nomad Wagon, are we taking anyone who can benefit from it? Not taking a Man-at-Arms, a Bounty Hunter, a Vestal, a Houndmaster, a Shield Breaker, a Flagellant, a Jester, a Plague Doctor, an Antiquarian, or an Abomination. We are taking an Occultist, though. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, so I guess... Crystal, Crystal Pendant does nothing. Lens of the Comet doesn't do very much. Shard Dust is the new Scooby Snack that you just never use under any circumstances. We're not taking any of these classes. We're just not. There are more classes than I thought in this game. We're not taking a Grave Robber. We're not taking a Leopard. We are taking a High Woman. But we can't afford any of this stuff. Hellion. Arbalist. Is there nothing for the Occultist? Have I, have I missed something here? There's no Occultist trinket? There must be an occultist trinket. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, uh, High Woman, though. High Woman? Crusader. We're missing High Woman? There it is, yeah. We we've taken all the expensive classes, except the occultist, and this is, like, pretty useless in the ruins. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Something that's so fun, by the way. It's going to be a long episode, almost certainly. I am going to miss probably the first, like, 15 minutes of the football. It's the World Cup semi-finals. France versus Belgium. Can you imagine? You probably can't imagine. They're both good teams. Um, but you know what? It's worth it. It's worth it for you guys. And honestly, I just enjoy this a lot. Uh, oh, yeah, we got the Overture box last time, which makes up for us losing the music box um, several episodes ago. Max HP, dodge less accuracy? I mean, do I care? Yeah, this is fine. This is actually fine. I think we take it, like, just generally most of the time. Uh, Berserk Charm, lovely. I think we take that on our, oh yeah, Crusader. We have three, like, big, heavy-hitting damage dealers. Unholy Slayer's Ring. Does anyone already have no dodge? No, we're kind of past that point, I think. Mmm. 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 It's so juicy. We're taking that on the High Woman. Yeah. We have a good assortment of dudes, by the way, who can hit the front and the back. We're taking Abyssal Artillery. Do I want to take Junior's head? It... It's good. But it comes at a pretty serious cost. I think I'm going to take it, but I think it's arguable that that's just not very good. I'm also going to take the stun amulet. Because I do have a stunning skill, and I, you know, I would like to use it at some point. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That's right. And yeah, everyone else's skills are basically correct. Do I want Hands from the Abyss, or do I want Sacrificial Stab? I mean... It is, a, like, a pretty nice stun. Demon's Pull is also reasonable. Oh, I can't use Hands from the Abyss from 3, of course. That's why I never take it. Um, yeah, Clearing Corpses is fine. I think hitting the back is going to be tougher than hitting the front in general. Hyoman slightly favours the front. Uh, actually, no, pretty seriously favours the front. Crusader obviously favours the front. Arbalist favours the back. But we do have Bola. Yeah, so hitting the back is going to be tougher than hitting the front. We're going to say Demon's Pull, and we're going to like it. So uh, 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 what actually is this mission, then? Explore 90%. It's a scout mission. That's fine. So, I'm going to do this. And I'm, I, it looks wrong, but if you think, 
Yeah, I mean, this is 36 food. Our camp is going to eat up probably 16 food, so that gives us five hunger checks. Four hunger checks and a little bit of healing. I think it's reasonable that we hit that, and I, I think it's okay to take all the food available in basically all circumstances. We're going to take four shovels. We're going to take two bandages, one anti-venom, three holy water, three keys, two herbs... Oh, but, ah, mm -hmm. but am I just going to end up dropping this stuff for loot? Let's be sensible here. Let's let's drop the anti-venom. And I think we drop one herbs. We can we can open one Iron Maiden. There's also the alchemy tables. I'm going to drop one bandage. And then, you know, we can maybe throw, throw that bandage away. Whatever, it's fine. And I'm not going torturous. I'm not even going a little bit torturous. We're going full light. We've learned our lesson here. We have become enlightened by our own intelligence. Mm. Rob, when will you learn? <laughs> the coffee is hot. We've been recording for 11 minutes and 9 seconds. I made this coffee no more than 13 minutes ago. It's still hot. It's still hot. It is hashtag hot coffee. Face out the halls of your lineage once familiar. Ah. Now, Oren. That's a hell of a sky. Right. We're going to take a second here. We're going to plan out our route. So we need to go to all but three rooms, I think. So there's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay. So it's all but two rooms. Now, I think there's a pretty good argument for skipping these two rooms here. Um, three battles with no obvious loot and an obstacle. Hmm. I'm going to skip those, at least for now. If we run into serious trouble, we need, like, one room and we're out of shovels and we need to we need to not go past a barricade, then, um, then yeah, maybe we, we come to this room. We'll cross that bridge or when we come to it. But right now, I'm looking forward to scouting out more of this. There may be a guaranteed secret room in Long Dungeons. I'm not sure about that. If you know, let me know, because that's, like, a, an important piece of information. I th I'm pretty sure it used to be the case, but it may no longer be the case. What a zealous? Absolutely under no circumstances would be zealous this. That's also, like, pretty garbage. Wanna demons pull you? Yeah, kill you. That should clear the corpse as well. Lovely. Maintain the offensive. Damn, maybe zealous was the play, because I that was, like, fairly predictable that that could happen. Yeah, I think zealous was the play there. So, I mean, Zealous is the play here. Absolutely. Oh, he's at 1 HP. He's at 1 HP. Jesus. All right, well, obviously you're dead. Do you want a bowler and just kill you? We could also Battlefield Bandage. No, that's a little silly. What's the point in Bola gives our crusader nothing to do. I think we just shoot the rank three. Continue nice. The onslaught. PBS. Them all. Uh, yeah, we we can weaken and curse. That'll kill it. Nice. <laughs> Give them no quarter. That's sick. Weaken and curse, lethal. I'm just gonna do this. I have no shame. This is. I want to say it's a damage buff until camp. No, it's a healing. It's healing. And maybe stress relief. On the basis that it might be stress relief, I'm going to do it. It's healing and, yeah, stress relief as well. Lovely. Not the most efficient use of holy water, but I think you'll agree 16 stress is worth it. If you don't agree, that's also fine. Wealth beyond measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Okay. Okay. Can I level with you, Wayne? I measured that wealth. Just saying. Hashtag just saying. I don't remember the result. No, we're not all maths geniuses like you. You're maths genius? I mean, I've spent long enough on the internet to know that, like, 40% of the internet is a maths genius, or at least likes to think they are. Now, I don't know if you would agree with that assessment. But, uh, that's my opinion. I'm sticking to it. 
No secret rooms yet, unfortunately. Ooh, 100? It's going to be tough to beat that. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's tough to beat that. <laughs> We're taking it. I guess we should prioritize stress relief a little bit less on Dismas as opposed to other people. Dude, I took the herbs, but you could have had it. All you had to do was sprinkle the herbs on it, and that would have prevented you from having a spasm of the entrails. Regretting taking triage right now. I don't really know how these herbs work. Like, I cook with herbs a lot, and my entrails, let me tell you. Are they spasm like nobody's business? Did you say like nobody's dismas? No, I did not. We're going to use a key. Maybe a shovel is the better play. Um, keys tend to give you slightly more loot from those. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted and purpose is made clear. But we need to keep at least one key for the secret room. That's a no-brainer. So yeah, maybe I should have used a shovel on there and then I've got a key for a chest, but... I think we're splitting hairs a little bit here. I'm gonna Wicked Slice. Yeah, this has protection. Nice. One falls. Still hot? We just don't know. Executed with impunity. So I'm finding myself just decimating the front lines pretty quickly. I'm gonna demons pull you. Take you up to the front lines. Take your mother out tonight. Arbalest kills this, or at least hits it. Destroy. Oh, lovely! A bloody good shot! I've slipped back into Great John Umber again. Oh no. Preston Jacobs would be proud. Uh, do I want to weaken and curse you? I'm going to kill it regardless. This is going to feel good. This feels good. It had a 65% chance of feeling good like Nina Simone do. Hi, my name's Nina Simone do. I named myself specifically to rhyme with my most famous song. Okay, that's enough of that. Abomination cleansed from our lands. You talking about that joke, Lunchtime? I think that's reasonable. Uh, Bola? Might kill it. Did not kill it. I'm okay with it. Weakening Curse should kill it, though. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Oh, remind yourself. Oh. Um. We want the busts. I mean, all of this stuff is like a little bit trash, but I think all of it's like good enough to want to take. I think we can drop the torches. Yeah, we can we can drop the torches, definitely. Kind of want the emeralds. I'm gonna drop the bandage, take the busts. And I think that's where we draw the line. I think that's where we draw the line. Do we want this? Absolutely not. Uh, okay, that's fine. New. No. He's all right. We've been very, uh, pretty lucky, I would say. <clears throat> so far in this dungeon, we've been relatively lucky in terms of the damage we've taken, which is basically zero. It helps that we've got three very heavy hitters. And one dude who, you know, is a DPS, but or is a healer, but has done nothing but DPS. Which is pretty nice. He's going to do some healing now, though. Let me tell you that much. Not sure about that point blank shot. Maybe should have been a wicked slice. Mm. She's such a critly boy. You are good for Geras. You are. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. And don't you dare develop imposter syndrome. That would be unpleasant. I think it actually is just the fact that we've got some pretty heavy hitters and seem to be like quite fast. Success so clearly. Six, indeed. six, six, four. Eh, like or distinctly average. Trick of the light. I do want these. Do I want to drop the food? Mmm. That would leave us with essentially four food for hunger checks. Or oh, sorry, I'm um, eight food for hunger checks. But no, because we're going to camp and we're going to camp for four. So I, I'm actually going to drop this food and take the gold. The unmovable helmet is 750 gold, but this is going to clearly stack to more than 850. So I'm, I'm going to drop the unmovable helmet. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to use it, almost certainly, so the emeralds are clearly better because they can stack. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm down to myself too much there. 
So, I'm going to camp here for inventory space, even though there's no threats between um, this room and the next one. There is the potential for loot. Circling We're going to eat for dark. four. The battle may yet be won. If you've been watching this channel for a while, you may be aware. This is something I only do in very rare occasions. It's pretty much autopilot just to eat for eight. And I think it's better most of the time. We're going to take unparalleled finesse. We have two melee and two range skills, but the first skill I use in each combat, which is also really the only skill I use in each combat, is point blank shot. But we could actually substitute it for wicked slice or substitute wicked slice for it. I think that might be fine. Duelist Advance is also like better than Pistol Shot most of the time. Uh, it also increases his speed. I think we go Finesse, but I do think it's close. To be fair, you don't really need the damage bonus on Point Blank Shot most of the time. Most of the time, it just kills stuff. Uh, so, Restring Crossbow. Bandit Sense. I can't even remember what else we used. Oh, um, Unparalleled Finesse, of course. That was extremely brain fart. Restring Crossbow, we just want to go, like, big buffs. We don't have much else to do. I think we go big buffs. Lowers her speed, but I think that's fine. We could also go Encourage, like, doubling Courage. We could go doubling Courage. That's definitely not efficient. Then again, neither is Restring Crossbow, really. None of this stuff is really required. I'm going to go Restring Crossbow. Yup. For Wendy Morning, come. Um, no, I, I really think that's incorrect. Okay, we're going to rest here. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. You come to this channel for reasons that are best known to you, but you stay for the sick references to late 1990s yogurt commercials. Or adverts, as we call it in the civilized world. Well, that answers my previous question. We have scouted the entire dungeon, and we have a nary a secret room to show for it. But you know what? That's okay. At least we know now that secret rooms are not guaranteed in long dungeons. And that is valuable knowledge. We're going to come down here, and I'm going to have to think of some way to fill dead air. What's your favorite fruit beginning with P? See, that's a joke, because I've already asked that question. It's clearly the pineapple, though. Like, it's just... <laughs> I, I don't understand people who don't like pineapple. I, whenever anyone tells me, and people do tell me this quite often, maybe that says more about me and my topics of conversation than about them, but they tell me they don't like pineapple. When, I know, I know. When someone tells me they don't like pineapple, I just immediately Peter assume... Trinkets and baubles, paid for in blood. And if you're a pineapple fan, you may already be aware of what I'm about to say. If you are, I like you. I, I immediately assume when someone tells me they don't like pineapple that they've only ever had pineapple out of a can. And they've never had fresh pineapple. They've never cut the pineapple up and diced it and taken out the core and just chowed down on that sweet, succulent, yellow flesh. Oh, it's so good. My favorite fact about pineapple, it's the only food that you can eat that will eat you back while you're eating it. And you know what? I can't even be mad. It's just so good. It's so sweet. It's so succulent. It's so fantastic. Oh. You might be able to hear my cat coughing up a hairball. Cat stuff, man. It's just cats. Where is she? Where is she? Is she gonna be okay? I can hear a little collar jingling. She's going to be fine. She's sitting on a chair behind my computer desk, so if she throws up, I'll fit it on my foot. It's going to be pretty nice. Cat's doing cat stuff. Anyway, pineapple. <laughs> oh, it is my favorite fruit beginning with P. It is my favorite fruit in general, and I'm including all of the culinary vegetables that are technically fruits, like peppers and pumpkins. And the other one. I can't remember. Bo, what, you got any ideas? Hair! No, hair is not a fruit beginning with P, but, but thank you very much. She likes eating hair. Well, 24 minutes in, we've already gone off the deep end in this episode. It's going to be one of those. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about it. So we have to go to all of these rooms, I think. I have heard that on long missions, you need to go to all but three rooms. I'm not sure about that. 
There are only 19 rooms in this long mission. So I think I'm going to all but two. Oh, PBS this? Yeah, I think we maybe kill it while we zealous, and that should kill both of these, hopefully. Nope. It's not going to happen. Lovely crit. The ground quakes. It's correct, Wayne. Want a demon's pull? Abyssal artillery doesn't kill it unless we get a very lucky crit. Demon's pull? Like, doesn't kill it regardless. I'm going to go abyssal artillery. Great. 10 out of 10. That's what we like to see. Ooh, exciting. Nice. Feels pretty good. Feels pretty nice. We want an inspiring cry. I'm going to inspiring cry myself. Get that stress relief on. I'm not worried about this man at all. That is suboptimal, I would say. Some would say completely meaningless. I'm just going to battlefield bandage. Compassion and then my high woman's going to kill it. It's going to be nice. It's going to be real nice. It's going to wicked slice. Just so that I don't have to click this button. I hate clicking this button. It's just one of my least favorite buttons to click. 95, 105. Oh, uh, we can actually unlock this. Yeah, point blank shot was the wrong call there. Oh, point blank shot, sorry, was the right call. For a task well performed. Another trap with chimpanzees. 70? I'm going to do it. Ah, oh, you win some, you lose some. Two thirds of the time. That was amazing. Oh, here we are. Thirsting for blood. I forgot the thing from the stars was here this week. That's on me. I'm okay with it, though. Alienage. This is, however, a bad team for it. We do have a lot of healing, and healing is going to be super important here. Uh, because we're going to have to just out-heal him. When he drops below half health, our only method of dealing a substantial amount of damage to him is going to be wait for him to tear himself apart and out-heal him. Luckily, we can definitely kill all of the aberrations before they crop up. I'm not worried about that at all. It's just going to be an out-healing type of fight. We're going to end up stressed out. But you know what? This is our chance to get our revenge. Because he wiped the floor with us last time. So yeah, I'm looking forward to being able to, to tear him apart a little bit here. Want a stunning blow? Absolutely not. Just going to smite. It's Eldritch, so I guess we have, like, a slight advantage here, though not really. Uh, weakening Curse. Oh, Weakening Curse is actually going to come through for us. We're actually going to probably end up Weakening Cursing his, like, second form. And I think he might... He doesn't quite have that prot yet. A dizzying blow to body and brain. Yeah, we're going to Weakening Curse his second form, lower that protection a little bit. It's going to be pretty good. It's not going to do enough. Uh, and it doesn't mark, does it? No, vulnerability hex marks, I think. That's fine. A little bit of stress. It is, yeah, uh, vulnerability hex marks. Well, I think we just wicked slice this. We're going to, we have the same chance to hit it regardless. And this keeps him in the front lines for point-blank shot purposes. He is currently, yeah, he currently does have that protection, so... He resisted the... Man, he... What? 110%. <laughs> What's his debuff resist? 40... Okay, so it was 70%. Still, man. Come on. All right. We got the crit, which is actually very lucky, because that's protection. I think we're going to be all right. But I'm just going to outheal him. I do not give a fuck about damaging him because he's going to damage himself. So our, our, we have two healers and our Crusader's also going to be an okay healer, I guess. Dismas's job is clearing the aberrations. And, um, and Raynor can pick up the slack where he fails. I think a lucky dodge here and there is going to be clutch. Well, we can Zealous here. Yeah, that was pretty good. And he gets the healing from killing the Aberration. And we can point blank shot. I guess that does some damage. Doesn't do no damage. 
That does not do no damage. Everyone's so stressed out. Okay, that's not a great stun because I was really hoping to battlefield bandage there. He's at 27. So zealous. Okay. This might put a bit of a spanner in the works. Just going to duelist advance. Yeah. Nice crit as well. Oh, we didn't... It counts as a corpse, so we didn't get the crit buff. Oh, I hate it. 23, though. <laughs> it's pretty nice. Okay. Spider don't mind being weakened. That's okay. I would actually lower his resists. Hmm. Well... I think we can inspire in crime. Momentary abatement. And BFB. Get that BFB. Get yourself an Arbalist who can do both. We're actually going to be okay here. That was nice. We're, we're going to be fine. Because we can be whittling his health down a little bit. We're stressed out, which is the main problem. Um, but hopefully we'll get some um, some crystals from this guy. And we can then purchase some of the higher tier trinkets from the Nomad Wagon. It's just the principle. It's just the principle. This needs to happen. Yeah, there we go. 67%. Maybe we hit him for like one or two more over the course of the dungeon. Very probably it doesn't matter at all. Uh, yep, 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 pathetic, divine, cool, resolve, tested, yep, powerful boy, powerful boy, Anger is girl, power. obviously, whatever, it doesn't matter, powerful boy, it. that's right, and that free stress heal, transfixing shot, that's a stun, right, no, stress and a debuff, that we resisted, we'll never know what it does, lovely crit, or, oh. We are made powerful. We are made powerful. Please do. This boy is threatening. Oh, boost everyone's damage for four rounds. I like it. We're still just going to spend all our time healing. Because that, yeah, brings me down to seven. I guess... He's kind of in the execute phase now, right? We can actually kill him from here. I should kill this. <laughs> I should just kill the aberration. Why risk it, man? Why risk it? We're going to zealous. That should kill the aberration. Although we actually don't know. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, more damage. Bola? Yeah. That's absolutely correct, Wayne. I think it's guaranteed to... No, that's at the start of the turn that it's guaranteed to think from the stars. We're just going to kill it. Vanished to the void. That's right. Oh, that's not bad at all. Yeah, if you want to end fights quickly, that's what you take. You never take that to a boss, though. 20 shards. Oh, yes. The light. The promise of safety. And I think I'm actually okay to drop the torches. We're going we're gonna to tactically camp. We're going to tactically use our last campfire when the torch runs down, probably about here. Ah, uh, no, I don't think so, actually. Jesus. We're doing just dandy, buddy. We got an afflicted dude, but we also have a virtuous dude. She's extremely virtuous, and she's going to kill both of these in one shot somehow, probably. Are we zealous here? Yeah? Yeah. Okay, you, Roger, are not my favorite one. Uh, well, we're just wicked slice, yeah. Decimated. It's probably you, right? Yeah. Tempting goblet is kind of a pisser. If you're gonna stress out anyone, <clears throat> excuse me. If you're gonna stress out anyone, should probably be Reynold for now. Yeah, I'm thinking Reynold is the way to go. Annihilated. I mean, it's not actually bad. Okay, so I could take it and then I could give the overture box to someone else. Probably Reynold. Can I do that? I can. 
Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna give the Berserk Charm to Dismas. And there we are. <laughs> We've solved the puzzle. Don't care about Citrins. I don't care about Citrins. Don't care about jewels. I kind of care about those citrons. Are often low on supplies. No, we're dropping it. Maybe we should drop the herbs instead, but it's just not enough gold to be worth worrying about. I'd rather keep the herbs because we might get something nice from them later on. Mm, oh, you have imposter syndrome. I keep forgetting Buznaj has imposter syndrome. May actually have to rename him after that because it's cheaper than taking it off at the sanitarium. Was that the correct play? I don't think so. I can't quite place why, but I don't think so. That was, though. Oh, yes. No loot. They are maggots. As victories mount, so too will resistance. I worked closely with maggots in, in my professional life for 18 months, and I can safely say I was not reimbursed for it particularly well, so... That was... There's a joke there, I think. Uh, yeah, we can kill these pretty quickly. Mmm, two in a row, man! I wonder if imposter syn- oh, This would be sweet, by the way. I wonder if imposter syndrome's chance to proc scales with stress. I don't think it does, but it would be pretty sweet. I only don't think it does because there's no precedent for that in this game that I can think of. Obviously, you know, uh, afflictions can have similar effects, but that's a little bit different. Oh, yeah, cool. Uh, we're just going to inspire and cry. Get some stress off. That was kind of a pisser. Because now our occultist is in bad shape as well. Ah, this is a problem. A slight problem, one small problem. I don't want my occultist to be in rank one. I'm sure he can do some stuff from rank two, but maybe not rank one. Uh, and again, yeah, inspire and cry, cool. Uh, gonna hopefully avoid my occultist getting too stressed out. It's okay. We might just duelist advance. That's fine. Now I'm gonna demons pull, that should kill it. Yeah, Singular brings him up to rank one. And then we point blank shot, oh fam. Pretty fantastic, buddy. All right, well, Battlefield Bandage. A get a BFB on Bola. He's got like a 15% chance to kill it, like a 14.75% chance to kill it. Uh, that's probably wrong as well. Let's try it. Oh, we got the high roll, though. It's pretty nice. Sure, whatever. <laughs> Serious overkill. Seize this moment. Sure. Push on to the task's end. I'm not taking the Citrins. I am going to camp... Yeah, I am going to camp here. Mostly for inventory space. And we'll definitely eat for eight. A spark without kindling is a goal without hope. So burn its scent. I think I'm actually using... <sighs> yeah, I think I'm parallel finesse is still slightly better. Triage is useless. Restring crossbow. We'll take finesse. And that's that. That's our lot. That is us done and dusted. Oh, yes. A stick of fork in me. I'm done. I clicked this. Thank you. I thank you for your help. Thanks for your help today. No problem. What's he talking about? We just don't know. Oh, this is a great point blank shot. We're just hoping for a crit. Instead, we got a low roll, and now we look like a fool. A fool, damn it. Sure, so I think on a weakening, no. <laughs> on a bit of artillery, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That is about when I converse. We definitely stunning blow here. Oh, cool, yeah. Uh, you don't have imposter syndrome, instead you have fearful. Nice, 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 nice. So we wanna, yeah, we're gonna ceiling spaghetti that again. We just wanna smash down rank one. Nuke him into the freaking ground, buddy. With point blank shot? No. Duelist advance? Yup. I thought Wendy morning come. A victory. Perhaps the turning point. 
feel like if those, I, I don't want to get political here, I like genuinely, but I feel like if those commercials came out today, those adverts, as we say, came out today, they would maybe raise a few eyebrows, because the accent seems a little bit, I don't know, seems a little bit un-PC, some would say. Um, but then I remember that around the same era, we had slogans like, Umbongo, Umbongo, they drink it in the Congo, which again, may raise a few eyebrows in this day and age. Oh, just an observation. Rated. It's just interesting, because I remember those adverts fondly, because they're from my childhood, but if, if an advert like that came out today, I'd be like, you can't do that on television! You know, it's just interesting how, um... A momentary interesting how, not just those, you know, those social kind of, um social tastes change, because that's well-trodden ground that I'm in no way qualified to go into. But it's interesting how you can remember something differently based Remind on yourself, the fact conflicts. that it's from your childhood. When you Slow see it today, and, and it's like, what? Are, you, what are you doing, man? It'd be career suicide today to, to come up with an advert like that, potentially, depending on the crowd you're trying to appeal to. Um, but at the risk of uh, going too deep down a rabbit hole that's probably not suitable for this channel, I'm going to pause this conversation there. Feel free to have this conversation very angrily on Reddit in your own time, as I'm sure you all do. Uh, point blank shot? Yeah! Like, 100%? No! No! It's, that's wrong! <laughs> okay, well, that's fine. Umbongo, umbongo, they drink it in the Congo. I've never been to the, to the Democratic Republic of the Congo. I've never been further afield than a couple of countries over. I live in the United Kingdom, as you may be able to tell. Um, and the furthest to feel that I've ever been is the Azores, which is a, a small set of islands off the coast of Portugal, if you're, if you're not aware. You know, fairly well known. But I only went there for, for university, it was, a, it was a field trip. And it was great, but... Uh, not really somewhere I went off my own bat, and it's not really somewhere I'd want to go again. It turns out there's not a huge amount to do there. There is like one supermarket <laughs> in the in the capital. A I was going to say city, but a victory nonetheless. It is a small town called Ponta Delgada. Uh, we're not dropping this food, by the way. We're not dropping anything. It's a jade. I think we can get over it. Nice. A fork. Oh yeah. To be spent. I'm just going to take that home in a spare slot, absolutely. Yeah, apart from that, I've been to, been to a small town in France, and I've been to a couple of places in the Netherlands, and that is basically that. I do like the Netherlands, though. Lovely country. Never been to Amsterdam. I, I mean, I've flown into the... Um, into Amsterdam. If you've ever been to Amsterdam, you'll know that you fly into Schiphol Airport and then you basically just go downstairs in the airport and there is the underground train station to take you to wherever you want to go. Uh, it's really cool, but you don't really see much of the city unless you make an effort to. Which probably is how the locals would prefer it. Uh, do we want the busts? I kind of feel like we'd rather have the gold, but make, no, we, we drop the herbs. We accept defeat, we drop the herbs. And in honor of Amsterdam, here is my finest Dutch accent, as I'm sure my Dutch friends will love me for. These dark caves drip on an overabundance of humidity. This is clearly not Dutch. Beyond my threshold of comfort. I nearly broke my ankle on the rocks made slick with some ubiquitous slime. The pools stir and slosh with no visible cause, and the shadows beyond torchlight seem to grow and shrink of their own accord. Definitely not Dutch. I apologize if you're, if you're a Dutch man or lady watching. I have nothing but the greatest respect for your country. Genuinely, but wow, that was bad. <laughs> That's okay. We're on the internet. People do worse things every day. Anyway, that was a bit of an anti-climax, really. No more fights. Oh, man. You know when you talk for three quarters of an hour? And sloped walls of our ancestry are beginning to feel familiar. <laughs> if you're a streamer, you'd be like, three quarters of an hour. But no, you talk for three quarters of an hour, and... Oh man, you're just getting lightheaded and a little bit fuzzy. It's just, it's quite a fun time, but I feel like I should breathe more. This is lovely. 5% crit to melee skills. Replaced Hippocratic, which is fine. Oh, that's nice. That is a shit ton better than Wheeled Scrange, 100%. I also don't know what either of these are. Scientific?
Oh, he's an edgelord. Oh no, we've turned him into an r slash atheism subscriber. Oh no. Now, I've, I've met a lot of scientists in my time working in a, in a scientific field. And I will say, I've met quite a few religious scientists. Uh, Musidon is not one of them. Uh, oh god. <laughs> it's like the game just wants me to take an occultist everywhere. Uh, the Fitz is actually not that bad at all. Um, the minus 5% crit kind of sucks. And the accuracy is a problem as well. Oh dear. Oh dear. I will say there's a reason that streamers with the kind of commentary density that I have take regular so breaks. Well regarded. Is now barely whispered aloud by decent folk. I'm like on the verge of dizzy, but I'm loving it. I'm having a good time. Uh, we definitely want to put these guys in stress relief. Uh, Buzznage. Buzznage. What is Buzznage? Am I taking to the brothel? Don't tell me Figueres has a love interest. She has a love interest. Uh, I don't think I want to indulge that love interest. I think, yeah, that's not. She can go to the gambling holders. Don't give away my hell's hairpin. That would be upsetting to me. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.